Today in Homemade Science, we're looking at flying dolls. Here's my flight crew. I found hair dryers just aren't strong enough, but this small shop vac is able to lift a few of the lighter dolls. Now let's go on and try this larger shop back. Face that way. Next up, the most challenging player of the group, Mr. Potato Head. Instead of the shop vac, we can also use an air compressor. I would have thought this baby bottle flew better with the cap, but it seems that it flies better without it. Next up, which hairstyle is going to be better for flying? Apparently a smooth head will fly better than one with hair. So how is it that air going over the top of the head is able to lift the dials up? To answer that question, we have to see what's happening with the airflow. The string shows us that the air follows the curvature of the baby's head, and that's an example of the Coando effect. It feels like the air stops following the curvature around the top of the forehead. From there it continues on in a straight path. The fast moving air creates a reduction in pressure above the baby's head, so it's actually the air underneath it that's lifting the baby up. The airflow is not only moving around the top of the baby's head, it's also moving around the sides of it. With the air pressure reduced on the sides of the baby's head, atmospheric pressure helps to hold the baby in the airstream. When holding onto the doll, it's impressive to feel these forces in action. This has been Homemade Science with Bruce Shaney. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more demonstrations I want to show you. Thanks for watching. Bye.